Hi, my name is Steve from Statistics Fix, uh, and in this video today, I've been sent these uh, Nintendo Switch Joy Cons uh, from a friend of mine, Anthony. Uh, now, apparently, he his Nintendo Switch was down the side of the sofa, and I think he said that he sat on it, um, which is obviously not a good idea. And in the process, he's managed to rip off the Joy Cons. Now, this one, as you can see, has completely come away. It's uh, it's ripped the rail out of the of the Joy Con. Uh, I think he said on this one that the he was having stick drift issues with the thumbstick, um, and on this one, I just had a look at it. Well, you can see it in there, but there's a, it, it's broken. There's some of the plastic has come away from inside there, so it definitely needs a new thumbstick on this one. It might need a new thumbstick here. Um, depends how bad it is. It might just need cleaning, but if it's been damaged, then that will need replacing as well. And he also said, yeah, it's there. So there's no release button on the back. Um, but apart from that, it doesn't actually look too bad. And as long as the uh, the ribbon connectors in here have not been damaged, it's very possible that we can just put that one back in. If not, I need to order up some replacements. Um, but... Let's, um, let's have a closer look at them and see what we can do. First thing I want to do is I've got my Nintendo Switch here. So I just want to check to see if they do anything. So obviously the blue one's not going to, but I'm going to try the the red one. Okay, so it does, it does connect. We're just going to try and... Um, check this, so the calibration ok you can see how it's not doing it now, but yes yeah, very slow to return sometimes like that in fact it's, it's staying down there so yeah there's something definitely not right about that is there go on, there, go on, there we go um, that was mine, so that'll be fine. So obviously, can't check this one until until I've tried to put it back together. Okay, they all seem fine. Um, so all we need to worry about in this is the is the thumbstick. And on this one, I'm going to try and see if I can get this back in, and then see if we can look at replacing the the release button and the thumbstick. Okay, so we've got a size two tri-wing screwdriver. Just undo these screws. So I should have said at the start of this, I've never taken these apart before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Where did that go? Found it. Right, let's take this uh, thumbstick out. Okay, so we've got a screw that's underneath, underneath here, so I'm gonna have to remove this ribbon cable as well. Okay, you can. Uh, you can see the damage on it there, so it makes sense to replace that. Brand spanking new.
These are very fiddly. That's just come off. Right, um, disaster has struck. Part of the uh, ribbon connector has pinged off across the room and I can't find it. Now I don't know whether I did that um, by just not being careful enough, I mean I was trying to be careful, or whether it was damaged you know when it was um, when it was sat on. Um, I'm going to go with it was damaged when it was sat on. In other words, it wasn't my fault, honest. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, this is for the... What's it for? The minus button. Now, you don't use the minus button that often, but that's not the point. And I don't think that this ribbon cable is going to stay in without the connector, without the little push you know the little push fit thing on it um, okay well I'll come back to that and see if I can think of something I mean I've looked around for it, I can't find it anywhere it is tiny I'll, I'll have another look for it and see if I, there's some way I can repair it if not I might have to just put a little bit of Sort of captain tape or something over this and just hope it stays in place it's not ideal like I say but first things first let's worry about whether the rest of it works because you know these have all been ripped out as well um, and it's possible that it's just not going to work at all in which case I won't feel as bad <laughs> just um, trying to fit this back on here I've noticed there should be a screw in here now obviously this wasn't attached when it came to me, so this screw is obviously pinged out when it's been uh, when it's been sat on, uh, but it wasn't rattling around inside, well, not not that I noticed. So I'm going to see if I can just find a screw that fits. I mean it's tiny, but because um, obviously you need that to be securely in there. But what I'll do is I will put it all together first, make sure it's working before I worry about whether I've got a screw for it or not. Uh, I'll also see if I've got a replacement button. I think I did order a a full button replacement set. So I presume it's got one of those in it, but I'll have a look at that as well. Um, in fact, yeah, I do need to put that in, otherwise when I stick it on the switch, I'm not going to be able to get it off, am I? Well, not easily anyway. Let me go and have a look for that bit now. Right, so I've just got through my bag of replacement buttons and I think it's this one. Um, so I'm just going to offer it up see if it fits in. Yeah, perfect. The spring's obviously still in there from previously so I'm just a little bit nervous about this falling out but let's just see if we can get these back in. These are very delicate aren't they? I might have to get my microscope and have a close look to see whether this push clamp is um, is broken or not. I just it's not. I just um, managed to do it. Then they're just incredibly fiddly. They're, they're just really difficult to get in. Um, I suspect this one's going to be the same. Oh, should there be a spring for this? Should there be a spring or does the um, is it just the, the button that pushes it back up? Yeah, I don't know. Well, there isn't one unless it pinged out when I opened it up. But I didn't see it. <laughs> Nothing surprising me. It's not going very well so far, so where does that go? That goes in there. It's fiddle central, this. Oh, 
What? Wow. Well, we have lights, so that's uh, that's usually a good sign, isn't it? Let's pop a couple of these screws in. I'm not going to put them all in because I want to test it first. Um, There's actually a crack there. I didn't notice that when I was uh, taking it apart. It was, well, it definitely wasn't me. So that must have that must have already been there. Again, that's what I'm going with anyway. Just power it on. Just take this one off. And slide that one on. Well, it made the clicking noise, but it's bent. Is that just because the screw isn't... Ah, okay. Yep. That's my bad. That's because I haven't put all the screws in. Right, okay. Let's... Test controller buttons. Okay. Yep, minus doesn't work, as I thought it wouldn't. Oh, neither does the left button. I wonder whether it should have a spring. It's coming back okay, it's obviously it's just not. Oh, is that part of the same ribbon connector? It could well be. Yeah, it could be. So it could be the left and minus. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's... Um, See if the release button works. Yes, it does. Connected wirelessly as well. Yep. Uh, let's try these two. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, they all seem to be okay apart from these two buttons. Let's check the um, thumbstick. Okay, so that's that sounds yeah, that looks perfect. Yeah. Spot on that. Right, okay. Let me see if I can see if I can think of a way of repairing that ribbon connector. Like I say, I'm hoping it's it's the left button and the minus, but let's take it apart again and have a, have a closer look. I'm not going to disconnect the battery this time because it was a pain in the bum to get back on. I'm not convinced by that. Um, I can't think of a better way to do it. Okay, let's see if that captain tape has made any difference to this. Okay, so it's recognizing it still. Let's go to system settings. Test control buttons. Yes. Let's try the L button. Yes. Excellent. Do you know what? I didn't think that would work. <laughs> Surprised myself. I don't know. It's not obviously not a long-term fix, but I mean, let's um, let's just try. Let's abuse it a bit. Yep, still works. Okay, so as long as Anthony doesn't sit on this again, you know what? I think that might be okay. It's going to give him a bit more use out of it anyway. I think. 
Because these are so expensive to buy, it's ridiculous. Um, obviously it is, there is that little crack there as well, but do you know what? It still works. Alright, so now that's that's my Joy-Con. I need to worry about the red one. So let's put my Joy-Cons over here out of the way. And let's concentrate on this red one. Now, I have already taken it apart to a certain degree. Um, what's confused me is it's got... Well, it's different. Um, but I suppose it would be because it's got... You know, the buttons are are in different different positions. And I'm just going to try and take the um, take the thumbstick out, and I'm going to give it a good clean. And I'm hoping that that's all it needs. Like I said, I have bought another replacement, so if I do need to replace it, you know, I, I can do and I will do. But if we can um, save a few quid. By just cleaning this one up, then that would obviously be the better option. I'm going to be ultra careful with these. <laughs> Famous last words. Something just dropped on the floor. I'm going to have to go and see where that was. It was a spring. Now, I did say I wondered if the uh, L button had a spring on it. I'm wondering whether that's it. You know, from the blue controller. Because if I look, yes, I should have looked at that first. There is a spring under the the R button here. Right. So I need to take that apart and put that back in. Um, but I'll I'll do that off camera in a bit. I just want to concentrate on this for now. I wonder what that spring was. Let's put it somewhere safe. Got that out. Now I'm wondering whether I can just douse this in IPA. It's got to be worth a try. Oh, actually, yeah. Do you know what? If I give it a little IPA bath, I think I'll try that first. Quite literally a bath. Well, not quite literally, because it's not, it's not a bath, but... Unbelievably fiddly. Do you know what? I've got a feeling in this video there are going to be plenty of several minute later slides. We just had one right now. There we go. Several minutes later. Oh god. Make that several more minutes later. Oh my god, I wasn't recording. <laughs> right. Okay, so I've put it all back together. Um, I don't know how much of that recorded or not. Um, but let's just test it. Seems pretty good to me. 
definitely returning. There's no drift. Happy with that. The wonders of IPA fixes everything. Well, not everything, obviously, but it's fixed this, which is good. Let's just double check this one. Yep. Okay, so I need to pop the spring back in this left button because it's. I mean, it still works, but it just doesn't feel as it doesn't feel as nice. So I'll make sure that this goes back in. Uh, I'll just do that very quickly now, and then we can wrap the video up. You know what, I'm wondering whether I can steal one of these screws here to put on the um, on the rail in there if it fits because there are four screws there and in my unknowledged <laughs> unknowledgeable opinion it doesn't need four screws there and I think that the rail is probably more important because it comes in contact with the um, with the switch itself. <clears throat> right, where's this spring go? Much better. Well, not much different to be honest, but I'll just pretend that it's much better. I'm just going to see if this one fits in here. Yes, it does. And I'm going to make the executive decision to steal that one. And I'm going to put it in here. Yay, much better. Right, final test. Okay, so that's it for this video. This uh, that was a nice. Um, I was going to say it was easy, but it actually wasn't. Those um, ribbon connectors are really very fiddly and very very delicate. Now I know for next time to be, you know, ultra careful. It's it's possible because I didn't damage the red, the ones on the red one, but it's possible that the blue one was. Um, you know, it was it was already broken, wasn't it? So let's be honest. I'm I'm pretty sure that some of the the force um, that was put on it has, has, you know, made it a little bit weaker. But you know, having said that, it could easily have been me. They are very, very flimsy. Um, so I'm hoping that it that it that it works okay. You know, that it carries on going. So that's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe for more. Can I fix it? And how to videos. Thank you. Take care. Goodbye. Au revoir, adios, etc. Mm -hmm.